welcome to a special episode of Press Select for Options. Ah. <laughs> With me, Jeff, Jeremy, and Matt. F Dog's and not here. Fred's special not here. That he ain't here. Yeah, the man's keeping him down. <laughs> <laughs> the man's keeping him down right now. The man's <laughs> keeping him down. Anyway, Black and today dogs. what I wanted to do was because a, no, a number of people who, who major YouTubers have been playing this online don't know a damn thing about this fucking game. And I'm not talking story stuff. I'm talking like the game itself. So right now we're looking at the intro. The intro is pretty cool. I still can't believe people complained about it. It is pretty Apparently cool. like when this, as soon as it came out, the Japanese were it's not exciting enough. Not it's, enough it's not a tournament fighter. So the whole name is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. Sort of a mouthful. Yes. Okay, so on the front here we have the the two two DLC characters that came out before the newest ones that came out. Which the new ones are Lisa Lisa and Old Joseph. What this is, is every time you go on PSM, on Japanese PSM, this picture, the, the newest picture will pop up, right? And what it is, is this campaign. Mm -hmm. This campaign and it activates uh, also EX story. You don't get the characters; those are separate. Right now, I think they're each three hundred yen a piece, except for Kira. I have not seen Kira on the uh, on the Japanese PSN, and I don't know why. So okay, we'll do a small rundown. So we go to story here. Obviously, everything's in English right there, probably for style. So you go through each of the stories from part one to eight. Got part one, Phantom Blood. Part two, Battle Tendency. Part three, Stardust Crusaders. Part four. I was just reading this last night. I wasn't really impressed when you were going with that. Yeah, I just, I lost four. it. I lost it. It's okay, I don't expect you to remember every All right, part six, part, part, no, part, six. Sorry, part five, sorry. No, part, let's, let's give them, let's give them names, you just can't remember it. Part five. Shut fab, up. Fabulous. <laughs> part five, part six, part seven, and part eight, the newest part. Almost as fabulous. It's still going on right now. Just as, just So each part... <laughs> Are so each part you play a different part in the story. Obviously, they're short. They're shortened up for the game. Except so for part three. Yeah, part three has quite a few. Actually, part three. I think part four beats it. Does it? In terms of fight, I don't know. Part in terms of characters, I think part, part four, four is most. Right? So if you hit triangle right here, you can activate E, not EX, but you have a whole different set of missions you can do. So it's like all reversed. So instead of John, you playing as Jonathan, you can play as uh, Part One deal. Oh. Each part has that, and each part, depending on what DLC that you download, each campaign you go into it. Actually, uh, which one has it? Right here. So right now, have most of the DLC except for the Lisa Lisa and Old Joseph thing. So you go to the bottom, and right there, it's D. I think it's Dio versus Ig. No. I think it's Paul Marsh or whatever his name is. Paul Marsh. Paul Marsh. Paul. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's probably yeah, that's Paul Marath. That's not Dio. It's Paul Marath versus Iggy right there. That's an EX mission. I don't know. Does it count for the? No, it doesn't. You can't do reverse because you don't have the character. Also, oh, Iggy's actually in the game. It's just DLC. It's DLC. I think there's on this characters. Where's complaining people? <laughs> How about that complaining? So <laughs> okay, that's a basic rundown of story. You do okay. One other important thing about story mode to keep in mind, this is how you unlock characters. You go through the entire story mode until you get to this guy. Actually, to do the whole story mode, you get the Josuke here. And then you verse every single character, and then you have a mirror match. And that is it. You finish with story mode and the story. You unlock every character that way. You go through story mode to unlock characters. Just so, I can, just so I can... There's no other alternative way to unlock them? To unlock characters? No. You do it through story. <laughs> Makes it's sense. not paid. Like, there's no paying for characters except for the DLC characters. And side note on that is that uh, this game's going to have 50 characters in the end. It has 32 right now. Well, with the other half are going to be DLC. With unlocking characters, it makes sense because oh. I mean it's like it's like older games, like older fighting games and other things like that, like that where you had to go through the story mode, or even like those Naruto games, like you had to go through the story mode to like unlock characters and such, right? Like, how, yeah. long, how long did you plan on spanning out the DLC for? A long time. This are we talking, talking years? Or are we talking like months? I have no idea. Months, probably. Okay, so next mode is campaign. This is one of the most confusing modes in the game, and there's only like so many options I'm familiar with because I don't. I don't use every single option. So, alright. 
Uh, oh, we're press select for options. Yep, use oh, three options. Oh. Chucky Lucky Star. Okay, so these are people that actually... Okay, the, I was telling Jeremy before, this works sort of like Budokai 3. This, has, this is ghost data. You verse ghost data online. Basically, that's like... That's people who versed you online. Huh. You only so, face two people. So, you get points and you get gifts. I keep forgetting what the gifts are. I think they're medals. That one, I'm not too sure. So, here's my next question. Yeah. Seems how you face ghost data online. Is yeah. there any sort of, like, record or leaderboard or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, there's a leaderboard. There is. Yeah. For fighting ghost data. For fighting on this, yeah. You don't actually campaign. play people. You play the ghost data of people. Oh, <clears throat> and another thing I noticed, people didn't understand why they had to go to the PlayStation Store. You have to download campaigns. That's another part of that uh, character DLC mm -hmm. that I was talking about on the front. What it is, is it's campaigns for this. So right now you have two campaigns. You can get the. I tried getting the third one, but I couldn't find it on the Japanese PSN. So okay, on the top, that's your. The top option there is the where you go through to your campaigns. I forgot what the second option is. I think. Oh okay, this is where you check where you get your medals. I don't really mess around with medals. But what you can do is from I think from here, you can actually give them different taunts, different. Uh, yeah, different taunts. I'm pretty sure. And also their medals. Little taunt medals. Oh, those fabulous poses. So that's basically that. We go over here. I believe this is the leaderboard. Yep. This is the leaderboard. You can take a look at yourself. Look at that. Lucky Star is the yeah. best. Yeah, he's got a lot of points or whatever. <clears throat> so, yes, there is a leaderboard for this. And this is the PlayStation Store option, I believe. Yeah. No. No. That's yeah. No. yeah. No. That's the PlayStation Store option. So let's go in the campaign. Okay. So we got both of our campaigns right there. We click on this. If we go on the bottom right here, we can see who's in the campaign you converse. Ah, I see. So you got Kira, you got Fatty, you got uh, Zeppel. Zeppeli. Zeppeli? No, Zeppeli. Zeppeli. Wham. You got Jotaro, Park 3 Dio, Paul Marath, Jolene, Hermes. You converse them. And what those things are on the bottom, right below them, you got the, okay. So you got their difficulty and how hard they are right below their picture of the stars. You got how much health they have. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep versing them and knock down all their health. All those things on the bottom are things you can unlock. And everything that says SP, right, those are outfits. Mm. I think the C ones are taunts, don't quote me on that one. That one I might be wrong. I noticed that little battery to the top right. Is okay, that what you're so before? the battery. The battery is basically how long you can keep fighting for. That kind of sucks. This is where the microtransaction thing comes into play, and people really are, like, pissed about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, when the battery runs out, you can't play anymore. You're not allowed to do... You, you're not allowed to play on campaign the verse ghosts and bosses. And by the way, when you verse ghosts, those are different from bosses. Bosses are... What I was showing you before, these... These are, go these are bosses. These are unique. These aren't, mm -hmm. like, the randomly ghost generated people so that battery when it runs out you can't verse them anymore so and what Namco did is you can pay to recharge that faster or not to have it drain out at all oh so it does recharge yeah it recharges originally it was 20 minutes to recharge then Namco released a patch it only takes 5 minutes so you're not waiting that long basically it's for, un it's for people who are not patient enough mm -hmm. for the battery to recharge see. see now here's my next question can you go back to that screen where you just said? Because you said that um, the SP were like outfits, right? Yeah. Special, See, I guess that. Do you unlock it for beating that character yeah. or anything like that? Is it for that specific character? No, they're all different. That you, oh, it's just random The majority outfits? of them are different. I don't, <clears throat> I only took a look at a few of them. I didn't see them all. But the majority of them are focused around the character, whoever's related to that character. Oh, I see. Uh, Zephyl, I got a Zephyl's outfit from him. I think it works like that as well. Hmm. You get the outfit from for them for you know from beating them, and they all have a lot of the, they all have a lot of outfits to unlock. There's a lot of costumes you can unlock. By the way, you don't have to pay for the outfits. So I mean, even if you got to wait for that battery to recharge, you could still unlock the outfit yourself. Okay. So well, besides, sorry. No, besides, for, besides for costumes though. What like besides being impatient and for unlocking costumes, what else is campaign like worth? Like what else can you oh. do in it to to like even like like 
Now, if I was a guy in Namco, like, what am I offering you for a, for campaign mode to make it worthwhile to actually costumes, the pay taunts, and poses? That's it. That's a, that's so unlo- that's aesthetic. It's unlockable aesthetic. stuff. Unlockable stuff. Makes sense. So, so that's look. that's all the offering, and, and but and they're charging you if you're not patient enough to yeah. charge that battery. That's it. Okay. Does that sound bad? How many? Yeah, a little bit, because like I, th- I thought I'd maybe offer a little bit more, but well, I guess I guess way. you it's not like alternate costumes. It's not like what Capcom does. I mean, no one likes what Capcom does, right? How, you have to pay for all that additional costumes and stuff. That are on the They're day. not actually charging you. This is just if you're you don't want to wait for that battery to recharge. I think it's not that bad of a thing. How many At people least, actually buy to recharge the battery? Quite a few, apparently. You go, Namco. Some people, hey, some people don't <laughs> want to do it. You know, I mean, it's up to you. So when they release new campaigns, this this right here is a campaign, right? Yeah, right. this is a campaign. So it all they, goes right here. So say, for example, a certain a specific character. Let's say, for the sake of argument, Jonathan is not in that campaign. He's not. If in they that release one. in another campaign, like he'll be like say, like if they release another campaign, like other characters will be in it that you can get like out, other outfits and other unlockable stuff for. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yep. Each character that's in each campaign allows you to unlock. Different stuff for each character. There's look, your battery drained. You didn't do anything. No, I did. I did. Oh. I cl- uh, while we were talking, you guys were talking. Oh, Jeremy was talking. Yeah. I uh, I hit the I hit the command. I hit the campaign. It drains one battery for you to access the campaign, and then you'll you'll fight someone. So here's Wham. This is some random generated person. Go to the bottom here. This is stuff you can get with. I believe I believe it's just. You know what? I never used this before. Let's see what happens. Yes, it's just. Each item does something different. Hmm. Unless it's not an item. I haven't. This, I have no idea. I can't go over this because I've never used it. But I did do it. No, no, no. So, so anyway, one cool thing about this is that when you go to fight someone, normally some sort of support item pops up. And you use your battery to uh, use the support item if you want. Let's see if someone pops up. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Sorry, I'm versing the randomly generated whoever. Pick a, I don't know, fucking Jonathan. So fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous indeed. So basically when you beat this, it only takes out a small portion of their health, unless you use more of the battery. The more battery you use, the more health it takes away from their main health. No. Oh. Yep. You have to do multiple fights. Oh, yeah, you away. gotta do, depending on how much health they have. Uh, some characters range from having 1,500 to 7,500 health. I see. Yep. I guess it's just to add more replay value. But see, Wham's wearing his alternate, actually, right now. That is a, uh... That's, that's his, uh... Sexy man. That that's is, his outfit from Part 2. That is quite the outfit. Yep. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much campaign right there. It doesn't sound as bad as other people are making it out to be. And I thought Akuma looked bad in his half naked attire. Oh, that? The, the rope? Look at these poses. Yeah, look, booty. Look, look at that pose. Look at that booty. Oh my god. But yeah, well, seeing, seeing as I've explained campaign, it doesn't sound that bad, does it? No. I mean, I don't. I personally don't think it's horrible. I mean, <laughs> it, I, mean I see where they didn't want to charge people for the costumes, yeah. most likely, but they're like, we don't want to just give this out for free. So yeah, we'll cool somehow, I guess. Cause I mean, you don't you don't have to you don't have to pay like you don't have to. You just for f- five minutes. It's like whatever you can wait five. That minutes. or you just don't play the game. Like, I mean, don't play the campaign. I guess. From what you were saying before about it used to be twenty minutes. That seemed a little unreasonable for it to recharge, but five minutes isn't that bad. In my Kablams. opinion. By the way, this is one of the coolest specials in the game. Sunlight, sunlight, yellow over to the high Tayo, yeah. Tayo. Oh, I get it. Yes. Situation finish. Situation finish. Depends. Fall off the balcony. Oh, okay. Situation finish is when, uh, depending on what part of the stage you're on, uh, it'll do a dramatic camera pan to whatever part. So in this case, with Dio's castle, you'll fall right off the balcony. That one's really cool. The black dragon's Levon. <laughs> so I got a, I got a gift. What'd you get? I have no idea. A costume. Got a dog. Probably got Wham's costume. Go Put it on, it. Jeff. <laughs> They're gonna Try it on. They're gonna mail it to you. Uh, so yeah, that's basically that's a campaign right there. That's pretty nutshell. straightforward. Yeah, it's it's not as complicated as it seems. It's just <laughs> you can't read Japanese. Shut up, people. Be patient. Damn. That's all. You just you either be patient or you can pay for the stuff. 
It's, it's up to you. You don't have to do it. Unless you miss the money bags, you just throws your money at Namco Bandai. Makes me think of like all the micromanaging stuff from like say Dead Space Three or other games. Oh yeah, yeah. How people are you know you don't have put to up do a fit it. about exactly like you all that stuff is unlockable. You can get it. It's just the options there if you don't want to spend the time. So then we got a regular versus, and this kind of throws some people off too. If you go to what, what is that? I don't understand yet. If you go to the bottom option right here, this will take you online. Oh, so you actually can play. You can play online, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's terrible. The netcode's trash. Don't bother, but... Well, because it's Japan. Are you sure it's trash, or is it because you're playing a Japanese game that most likely connects to a Japanese yeah, yeah, server yeah. That's and too. America? So anyway, another cool exactly. thing, you can actually change your card right there. You can have different faces. But why would you want to change that beautiful face? Go back. Well, here's the leaderboard right here. Thought I should... Mr. Lucky Star's not on there. Oh, because he's the king of campaign. <laughs> And you can uh, you can invite people to uh, a lobby if you want. Ooh, lobbies. There's that's no, always well, a sorry, wait. Let me rephrase that. You can verse one on one. Oh, there the are lobbies? no lobbies. Why do you say lobbies? You just. Why do you say I lobbies? I thought I'd fuck with you. So here's done. I want my money back. No more. <laughs> I ain't buying it. No, I'm just kidding. So stop watching everyone. Uh, you know what? Here's the online. I'm really not gonna delve too much in this. I'm not playing a match because I've done this several times. It's horrible. It's pretty cool though. You can change your picture. I mean, look at that. Look at that eye kind of off center. That looks like the kind of. That's just the kind of face you just want to punch. That's the face I make when I get up in the that's morning. That's the kind of face you like, do you even anime? Oh! Do you even anime? A really cool thing I do like. It gets kind of. It might get annoying, but the characters talk to you on the bottom. Yeah, they I thought that was a cool little thing of them trying to incorporate more characters into the game without putting them into the game and probably not, you know, not knowing how to put them in. Because if you go back to the uh, the old Capcom fighter, JoJo, um, the Battle for the Future, or whatever, the one we play on, the one we played before, oh, PS and all that. Yeah. There's like three characters that are like clones, the Anubis dudes, the ones who are holding the swords. Okay. Yeah, they're all pretty much clones. They're in this, but yeah, they only talk. Them. Oh, um, and multiple different support items, uh, different characters will pop up. You will you'll get like Jonathan's dad, George. To come up and be like, guess what? Your battery's infinite for an hour. Go. How do you like your stick? So we got your basic <laughs> shit right here. Practice. Oh, wait. I got to go back up before I go. So there, let me get out of there. Whoa, who are those guys? Those are um, from part two. Those are the two people that were training Joseph and Caesar. Oh, okay. With, uh, so back to Lisa, versus. Right? Go to the top option. Versus computer. Player. And... Uh, why has it always been an option? You the I guess it's nice wanna, to watch. I guess when, if you when Smash watch, Brothers yeah. Brawl came out, and people were like, Sonic's better than Mario. Mario's better than Sonic. You put them both level 9 and make them fight each other, and Sonic wins half the time anyway. Really? Yes. Well, they're both kind of... Anyway. Level 9 computers are kind of dumb. So, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, again, <laughs> the top option, that's your, that's your regular stuff. Yes, your player versus computer, player versus player and computer. Indeed. And the bottom is online. See, it also says on the PlayStation Network on the bottom. So we go to practice. It's your basic stuff. Actually, I don't even know. Does this play. game feature Barry the Slinger? No. Yeah, yeah, feature yeah, sand, it features Sandbag. Yeah, we're the So customization. Nope. No. No. So customization. <clears throat> Let's take a look. What is? These are your medals. Customization. Medals? Yeah, metal. That's your metal stuff. That you unlock in campaign. Yep. Yeah, what ah, are these, what are these it's medals? all coming together. What to be these? honest, I have no idea what the fuck medals do. Okay. That is one thing I never looked up. Maybe. It never really seemed to affect gameplay, so I never really. Oh, looked it up. doesn't like give your. I don't know if it. Abilities I don't like know that. if it does. That I don't know if it does. So sorry. You know, you can internet. easily figure that out if you just read what it does. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, speak Japanese to me. Big so man. we go to the second option, <laughs> and we can take, <laughs> we can also take a look at the stuff from here. I need some blue. Metals. Silence. Lots of metals. Lots of metals. So we can change the picture from here in customization options. Not new desk, So let's, let's see what else we got. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, that yeah, face. Go back to him. Go back to him. Oh, I like that one. No, no, go, look at that face. Mm. Mm. That's a face you could just kiss. So, yeah, they've all. And they have there also. You go. There uh, you go, that one right A lot of the. It. Some of the characters actually have multiple things that they say, I believe, when you pick the picture. Before you finish that thought, Jeffrey, these pictures, are these from, like, the original anime? This or, like, the, the original manga. Manga. I mean, the manga. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is. 
Put, put it back on Joseph. It needs to be Joseph. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no, that is, that is pretty cool. I like that. It needs, oh. to, be, it needs to be Joseph. Joseph? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Mm. No, oh, that's my wait, picture. Wait, wait, go back to Joseph real quick. That's my picture at home. I'm going to take that ass, girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you no, might. you can have this one. There you go. <laughs> A very, very surprised Jonathan. So this is what you mean by surprise butt sex. So, ah. uh, yeah, right there you can change, you can actually change your, uh, change the little picture there, which is pretty cool. I just, that, oh, this picture. <laughs> it looks so funny when, like, it pops up during, like, a match, when you, when you do the taunt thing. Oh, God. It's funny because you can't see his lips. Oh, wait, wait, let me go back into that. No. There was something I forgot to mention that's on the card. And what is that? So, on, it'll show all your player data. And what's cool is it'll show you who you've been using the most. So right now it's been showing because I've been because I've been playing. He's you've been I've been using Joe's Yeah, yeah. It shows how much time you've been playing and how many wins you have. I see. Yep. How many points you got? Yep. Yep. That's pretty much that. Go in the bottom option. Customize your character from here as well, if you I want. I see character color. You can. I think you can set it to default. So that's what you what it'll be when you pick them. Yeah, makes sense. There's only two colors. That's uh, that's it for customization. Now the gallery. I like the gallery. There's a lot in the gallery. So we got well. I can't look at them here, but these are three D models. You can view them from here. Obviously the gallery. Oh wait, I can look at one. Oh, Jolene. <coughs> that ain't no, Jolene. that's her. That's, that's her stand. stand. So you can actually look at the three D models from here. Which is just as fabulous. Still got a sweet ass. Yeah. I, I like the I like that though. They give you uh, they give you the ability to look at three D models. This is something you don't see in uh, too many games. I mean, Marvel Marvel did it, but there's not a whole lot of games that, look that ass. look at models. Look at that ass. So flat. There's round. That. So yeah, you can look at three D models right there. Go to the second option. Background music. You can listen to. It plays from that guy's hands. Well, it's Stan's hands, anyway. Sweet. I don't think I have anything. Sweet deal. Oh, wait. People can listen to the music copyright. Oh. So, yeah, I thought it was a little cool of a visual trick. Check it out. See how it changes? What what changes? Well, the head's glowing for a Yeah, the, the head's glowing and there's a little... Oh. Light. Yeah, I thought that was cool. See how, the, see how it lights up? That's neat. Yeah. If you can light up, then and also, if you feel so inclined, you can come listen to voice data. Interesting. In Japanese. In I'm, Japanese. There's a lot of voice data to unlock. Well, of course. Don't a, lot. a lot of things. A lot of that's like That's like saying there's a lot of sound effects to listen to in, in the old games. Where you so from effects. here, we can also look at um, pictures be- before they went into 3D production. See the difference? It looks so gangster. He's like, yo, come down my hood. I like oh, this one to actually. Jotaro. Yeah, these are these are before oh they uh, God, went Jotaro. into th- before they went into three D production. Wear some socks. I know, right? Like it's like they put his pants on a bit. They're like, "What are you doing? Put, put your pants down." <laughs> yeah. Like Star Platinum looks pretty cool. That's his name. Yeah, Star Platinum. You've only said it. I said it so many times. Really? Yeah. Yes. That's, that's his name. Yeah. That's Star Platinum. Cool, that's a cool name. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Star Platinum. Did you Star guys just Pl- really high five? Yeah. yeah. What a bunch of fags. Star Platinum's a cool name. You high five over And that. also the character looks cool. I like the character. Hey, you say that now, Jeremy. Then he comes punching through my balcony, slowly so- coming towards you. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. Because uh, beat story mode, you get the pictures too. The Congratulations, the- Sparkle. Look how sparkly sparkle. they are. Pretty. And look at this. A picture of all of them. All the JoJo's. Yeah. You can unlock stage pictures, uh, stand pictures, all that good stuff. Let's see. Go to this option down here. And this goes over the entire history of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. For those of us who aren't well versed in the... Uh, until... JoJo's. Until this comes to the United States. I don't suggest going into here. As you cannot read this. Obviously. But it doesn't... It does go over every single part. But it doesn't... It won't go into great detail, but it does somehow. Hold on, I got this. One day. Long, long ago. Oh. I was reading... One day, Jonathan the next met Dio, and then they had an argument. And from here, back. you can actually buy stuff. So with real American monies? No. Oh. 
<laughs> so anyway, yeah, that uh, the option right down here. That guy's ugly as fuck. Oh, that's that's the uh, asshole from part one. Don't hurt his feelings. So <clears throat> yes. he's dead. He's very self-conscious. He's dead now. We go oh, to the very last. We go to the very <laughs> last option. Credits. Credits. All right. Like we need to watch that. Hold on. Wait. Yeah. Okay. He's doing his pose. And that's pretty much it for the gallery. So it includes background music, voice data. You can look at 3D models, pictures. There's a lot of content to it. You could just unlock as well. Word. So that's Indeed. cool. So we back out. And we go to the, the bottom option. The last option is system options. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too... You know, Nothing too ridiculous or anything. Oh, I forgot where I went in. Options. I believe it was the first option. Yeah. No, it's not. That's the first option. This is gonna set your computer difficulty. This is gonna set your time. Uh, you know how many rounds, all that shit. She or she. Second option. At your control. Button config. All right. Third option. This is going to set how loud you want everything. We See, have it to the max, because that's how we do it here. Press select for options. Of course. We play it to the max. We got our fourth option. And this, where I am highlighted right now, immediately go in here when you start the game and turn that off. What is that? When you start the game, big boxes, huge text boxes of tutorial stuff is oh, going to yeah, pop up. Oh, yeah, the tutorial. Every time. Everything you go into, story, campaign, verse, everything. So immediately go into the third option of the options and turn this off where I am highlighted. Everything else really does not fucking matter. This or is what you want. Those tutorials just keep popping They'll up. They keep I popping see. up. And the bottom option. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. I hit it. I hit it already. Oh, I'll do the thing. So now here's, here's my next question, Jeff, and I'm pretty sure this is what everyone's wondering. Nope, not me. Uh -huh. Where's the command list for each character? I turned it on. You turned it on. I turned it on. So okay, we get to tell, we get to I get to show you this anyway. Well, yeah, don't go turn those tutorials off first, and then show us how to Before check the command you list. Before you go ahead and show us the command list, you're not gonna turn that stuff off. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna turn it on. How did you turn it on? It was on. Yeah. Before. How did you? How did you make? Because on the bottom, I didn't realize it because I'd never pressed it before. But that's to turn everything back to default. Well, now everyone sees that. that well, that's what happens. See what a major fuck up I am. Okay, so let's go do a match. Jump no, take the controller right now. Show us. Okay, so there's actually is. something really cool I'm gonna show you in a second. No, there isn't. Oh, okay. You say that music thing, I'm gonna fucking jump off the balcony right now. Well, I got it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start hooking off. I got. I gotta bring that up though. So <clears throat> up here, this is where you change the outfit, and this is where you change color. Obviously. Wait, you have another outfit for today? No, if you do. Oh. If you do, when you re unlock them, they're, the they're right up there. You switch that outfit. By the way, on you the see that sushi language moving? No, it's staying the same. There's no other. By the way, on the bottom there, you'll notice there's three <clears throat> missing characters. That's uh, the DLC characters. The only reason we have. The one on the bottom right is because he was free, because Namco's like, okay, we sold the 500,000 copies in a weekend, and then our sales dropped 97%, so here you go. All right. So. Let's jump into it. Yes, and I'm going to bring that up. Okay, so first you hit square. You can turn off the stage hazards, if you want. Every stage hazard is different. Every stage hazard lasts longer than the other. Some of them only happen once. It de really depends on the one. Like the one here at Dio's place. It'll happen every time when you knock someone down. Or in that damn dojo where it happens every time we hit the area. And the old man with the pictures is like, <laughs> Kira's dad, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Jeremy was talking about the music just a second ago. So, when you hit triangle, when you're in verses, you can play first player's background music, second player's background music. You can access the hard drive. That's right, because this game is built around the PlayStation 3 itself. So, you can yeah. access your music on your hard drive. It's all the stuff. And actually, all right, I'll turn it on. Damn so this no, is this is to this. wait. This is accessing a into a single song. Sorry, right Let me finish. Okay. Then the okay. So we go back in. The bottom option, I believe, just accesses a accesses the whole album. So it'll immediately play every single song. Obviously, random. 
and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh man, oh. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stages, not bad for a game that just came out. Uh, There's one more. Just hit random. Yeah, there could be, but what are you going to do? So anyway, <clears throat> the ma- unfortunately, this is a downside to the game. The load times. The load times kind of suck. Well, you got to load a lot when you look this fabulous. Look at it. It's just that you install the game and all, so. Was it installed on here? No. Uh, yeah, it was. You have to, I believe. So, this is a match. <laughs> obviously. Do some silly stuff. So, <clears throat> one thing Jeremy asked before we stop is that where's the command list, right? Up here. Here's your command list. Now, some of this is basic stuff, fighting game stuff to understand, right? Mm-hmm. You got your quarter circles, and you know, your sh- well, you got your Hadouken and Shoryuken motions, and crazy motions. And so, <clears throat> yeah. And right now, what you're hearing is music off Matt's hat. Hard drive. Hat drive. My hat drive. Hat drive. Zephyr's got a hat drive. Um, one criticism this game has been getting a lot is the frame drop, which, yeah, it's noticeable. I'm not going to lie. But another thing people have been complaining about is how how slow the game feels. And I've been playing it enough, but what do you think there, Matt? I can see why they think it's slow. I mean, because look at this. Like, look at this. I can see where they get the idea that it's slow. But once you start changing stuff, it actually moves pretty fast. It moves kind of, it moves really smooth. It's just, yes, this game is locked at like... It's 30 frames too. 30 frames, I think. But it is a pretty looking game, right? I, I always like Nat- Natco Bandai's work when it came to Oh, it's just Cyber game. Connect. Oh, Cyber Connect? It's well, Cyber Connect. Well, Cyber Connect. I always like Cyber Connect's uh, way they made the, the games look. It's oh, seeing as we're Ripple look. characters, if we hold R1... Yeah, we can, poses, we can charge really up, and that gives us meter because everyone else, most of the other characters use stands, so it's a bit unfair. Unless you're a vampire, like Dio. If you're Dio, he does not have a charge. So yeah, I showed him where the command list is on the top. Yeah. So watch me do a cool thing. Yeah, kaboom. Um. What else can I go over with the... Uh, well, how about, how about for the facts of the 3-button game? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much... Well, no... Well, then you get your... Like, you heavy, and then you get, you get your dodge. Yeah, it, it pretty much is just step. a 3-button fighter. It's it's really simple. And, like we were saying, the game, the game gets... The game gets a lot smoother as you play it. I will admit, starting out, it was real slow. It felt real slow. Yeah. But as you get used to it, it actually is pretty awesome, I think. So, so let's go over a little bit here. It seems I'm person. You hit X on default. That is your death. That is your side step. Okay. Which is nice to know. So some characters, such as Zephyr here, have a super jump. So, yeah. Doesn't everyone have a super nope, jump? Nope, not everyone does. Oh, okay. well, Caesar's got one, Zephyr... I don't know if Gyro's got one, even though he's a Zephyl. I think you have attacks on this. I know you can. R1. R1. Yeah. You have, to press, you have to press R1 with Only it. Only with Ripple characters. You have to press R1 with it? Or yeah. Just R1? As you're doing the motion. So like that, that I did R quarter circle R1. See? Yeah. That uses up one bar meter? Uh, no. no. It only uses up a small portion. Oh, I see. It's like a regular EX move. Okay. That's basic stuff there. Yeah, we're getting into the third strike. Meter oh. usage territory. So, alright, here, uh, keep punching me. Mm-hmm. I think if you hit, what was it, back to parry? I thought it was like back here at the right time. I always thought it was like down. I don't know, I'm still having trouble getting that timing down for it. it is, you see, we seem to whiff it out randomly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can parry in this game, which is really nice. You can tech grab, you can tech grab, everybody. Yes, grabs are techable. Even though everywhere grabs I do next to nothing in this game. Everywhere I see, people are saying you can't hey, how about tech grab, but they are techable. I did get grabbed. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. all seeing as Matt did it. Whenever you do a taunt on when someone's on the ground like that, they lose meter. Which actually, I think, makes the game pretty interesting. That's you don't want to lose that meter that you built up. Not if you're a ripple oh, character. Oh, it's oh. not as big of a deal because you could just build it like... 
like this. But if you pick a stand character or like a vampire like Dio or Cars, Wham, ACDC, you can't you can't get meter that easily. Yeah. So you really have to think about it. Unless you do pick Dio, part one and part two, I believe, drain meter and health. Oh, I see. Yeah. They both drain meter and they both have different moves that drain meter and um, health. Makes sense. Oh, uh, but yeah, I, I didn't understand the whole, oh, you can't tech grabs. I, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to oh. do that. I think it would have been better for a lot of people to have played the game at least a little bit. Why don't you guys show that we can indeed tech grabs? Three, two, one. There yep. you go. There you There's go, everybody. Right there. You saw it. You saw it here. Press the white for options. Stop crying, big baby. Stand I feel, up, I feel like Stand a, up. Get down, punk. I feel like a lot of the... Um, it's unfortunate, but I feel like a lot of the hate for this game is unjustified. There's a lot of people just... Because they, they don't understand it. They don't know what to do. I didn't even know that this game got hate. Oh, yeah, no. How can you hate on JoJo? JoJo anything. They, it's not that they hate on JoJo. It's just this game. Because they think... Some people think uh, Cyber Connect 2 is like the worst. Ever. Come on. No, it's not going to... Oh, it's so... Because I, I stepped away for just a moment. Did you guys already... Did we, we already go over controls and, you know... Which, oh, we looked at the command list. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, for for example, like that level 2 super... Oh, you just to, to do any... Okay. I think I think for it's here, so... So there's... Go get the door, Jack. So there's a heart... Okay, so... There's a heart attack, and there's a great heart attack. Heart attack? Was oh, it harder? The, 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 the specials, the specials we've been doing. So in order to do the regular one, the one meter special, is quarter circle forward, to square and triangle. I think it's just two buttons. I think it's triangle circle. You know what it might be. Um, if you want to do your great heart attack, just hit all one. That's I thought just walked in. You just walked in. What up, Dog? Told you. Oh. So no, you're the one who said it. Anyway, you yelled at me. When you have two meters, you just hit L1. That's it. Word. it and you get a really pretty attack, and it looks really combination cool. combination of buttons is L1. It's all of them, I guess? Yeah, it encompasses oh, cool. all three. We can do another match, or...? Yeah, let's do another match. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Give it up, loser. Oh, there's also some fun stuff about this uh, about this game. Seeing Such as? <laughs> if you know enough about JoJo's... Mm -hmm. With, uh, with, say, Dio. You mm -hmm. know, he's a vampire, right? Yeah, he the is. The cool thing is, when you go over to the stage, go to the left. <laughs> I can't move it. Jeremy, move it. Oh, is it me? Sorry. Go to the left, go to the left. Left. We're going left. Or right now. Oh, my God. Go to Dio's stage. Not the first one, the third Doesn't one. Doesn't it say Dio? Like, in big yeah, it'll say Dio in big letters. Forgive there. me, I'm very stupid. It was, you passed it twice. This that one, one, that one. Yeah. Okay, so oh. if you pick this stage, and you pick vampires, such as Dio, and you do a situation finish because it hits them right out of those big circles mm. they turn to dust I thought that was cool I thought that was a cool little thing you could do it is cool oh uh, cool thing about Jolene she's got a grapple she's pretty much got a bionic arm yes she does that's why Every, cool. she does a super jump when her stand is out the summon stands you just hit R1 it's like the Capcom fighter or you just hit one button to activate your stand. I do like me some Jolene. I do like me some Joseph. You boy. <laughs> Old Joseph's cool. He's got, he's, uh, he's pretty cool. So, go to the left a little more. Keep going on the left, keep going on the left. So, okay. So, this is where the stage hazards are, and as you see it happen. So when you do a hard knockdown to someone on the ground, it'll activate the stage hazard. Now see where that red light is? You don't want to be where that red light is, because typically, <laughs> like, typically something bad happens. Well, but yeah, so you can knock that guy out of the way, and it's pretty funny. That's uh, that's like Dio's, like, I don't know, dude, like, protects the place or something. Shit, if I remember correctly. He protects he got something? I didn't know he protects me. He tried. I always thought he destroyed me. So I can only give out so much background on so much information because I don't know. I'm, I'm only like halfway through part four reading it. So I can't really answer a lot of questions, but I do know quite a bit. Um, the reason the whole room is like this is because Vanilla Ice, the, uh, the dude from the JoJo's game. Oh, no. Uh, the other one. 
Ice, the one with the platinum hair. Yeah. He made. He does this. He can like turn into a ball with his stand, and he like he did this to the to the area. He put holes through it and shit because he wanted to kill Polmarath, and it didn't work out so well for him. Yeah. Because he got destroyed. Yeah. What's going on? What I miss? A lot. I, I basically, this is a special episode. Don't look press select, like, press select like for options. As I'm basically doing a tutorial for this. The reason is, is because a lot of people I've watched it play this, they don't understand it. Yeah. And I wanted to talk about it. Anyway. All right. Well, I'm gonna move this cat on my seat now. All so right. You can keep them there. Oh, well, the hazards just gonna come back down. Again. Yeah. No. It, it just keep, Like I said, some hazards keep coming. Some hazards just stop. Not every hazard in Wait, the game on, keeps on, going. On. Oh, what the that? That was a hammer. It was a sledgehammer. How do you do that? Oh! Oh! Uh... I really... Come here! Come here! I think, I've, co I think no. I've covered just about everything I want to cover. I think you have. In this. I don't think there's anything else I can... Hold on, hold on, I want to cover. Yeah, get out of here. How about those 3D models, that one guy going back and forth, side to side? Oh, we don't have Wham. Oh. Goodbye, him. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jojo. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the entire game in a nutshell. So we guys going to finish this match now? And, uh, Indeed we are. It. And then we're going to be done. Look at him, he's like, yeah, happy for it. Hey, he's not going anywhere, weird. Hey, know. hey, so, this should be our slogan. Don't fuckle with sh Shuckle. <laughs> no, why are we still talking about Shuckle? <laughs> See, people don't understand that though. You can't keep saying it. Just stop it. I don't know, right? <laughs> oh, the Pokemon Shuckle is so cool. So, so Your so favorite, right, Fred? <laughs> shuckle is fucking clean all in the shell. <laughs> Stupid. He doesn't even match. I love that. Don't fuck with Shuckle. He doesn't even match. He doesn't even match. Look at him. He's See, like did yellow, you like that picture? Red. Just sunglasses. Am I dead? I'm dead. You are dead. Oh, no. I'm alive. I'm no, dead. dead. Oh, God. Loser. So has this video Loser. been informative for everybody? Except for... No. Me. <laughs> oh, okay. Been informative for me, but I don't need it. Mm. So I hope I, I hope I've cleared up. No. Just a disclaimer from Press Life for Options, this game is coming to America. Ugh. Yes. I don't think <laughs> don't it's coming here it. this year, though. Yeah, they said, they said, um, I keep the hearing this year. year, I keep hearing next year. I, I hear 2014 for Europe. Who knows? 20, it's always eight, 24, it's always a year later for Europe. Hey, if it Europe comes here sooner, that's great. Oh, yeah, those are the points you can use they, to unlock, uh, You probably won't see, uh, unlock stuff. Blaze Blue until, like, 2020, so. Gonna, don't say that. <laughs> oh, by the, by the way, no, two other things oh. I wanted to mention. Blaze Blue anime is coming out. Watch it. Yeah, gotta get on Two, there. Kill a Kill's awesome. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Matt, Jeff, Jeremy, and F Dog. Who nope. just came Wait, in. We're done with that. No, you we're shouldn't not. have been. No, no you shouldn't have been so like. I want to be called F Dog. F Dog. We never my video yet. Yeah, anyway, see you guys later.